everybody, Frank Vespi here, The Racing Biz, theracingbiz.com, and that dramatic music means we're kicking off something new here on The Racing Biz for 2022. It's Charlestown in 60 seconds. Three stories that caught our eye from Charlestown races this past week or so. We'll have our countdown timer up in the corner to make sure we're keeping things on time. So without further ado, let's dive in here with story one here on Charlestown in 60 seconds. That story, Rookie Salsa wins the Saturday Allowance feature under jockey J.D. Acosta. The two-step Salsa gelding earned a hard-fought half-length victory. He's now trained by Claudio Gonzalez, a stakes winner at two. He's still going strong at age five. Second story, not today for Esther's fortune. In Saturday's fourth race, she hooked the left out of the gate, gave herself the night off. We've all been there including, unfortunately for trainer Mike Butts, Esther's Fortune. She did the exact same thing back in October. And finally, a couple of passings to share. Merle Lonnie Sowers, longtime Charlestown Racing Secretary, passed away January 27th. He was 82. And Randy Funkhauser, the head of O'Sullivan Farms, longtime local breeder and horseman. He died February 4th at age 70. Our thoughts and prayers will be with the families and friends of Lonnie Sowers and Randy Funkhauser. That's going to do it here for us on Charlestown in 60 seconds. Keep up with racing and breeding from West Virginia and the Mid-Atlantic all week long on the Racing Biz, theracingbiz.com. And hey, everybody, we'll catch you next time here on Charlestown in 60.